So if you're new here, new to my channel, and you've never experienced a land miss, uh, basically I, back in the day, adopted the vlogmas idea, and that's posting a video every day during the month of December leading up to the holidays. So we do land miss around here, and every day in December, a new video will be coming your way, and I am so excited for this year. Fun fact about me and this lovely sixth sixth annual landmass. I've never decorated. I've never had a tree. I've never felt like settled enough to invest in decorations, if you will. And maybe I've been a little bit of a Scrooge, but it's never really been a thing that I've done. So even though I'm doing landmass, it's always just been like general videos every day. It's not necessarily been festive, all that festive around here. So this year we feel much more settled in our lovely home. And we're actually hosting, Dan and I, my fiance Dan and I, are hosting our families, both of our families, for the holidays this year and so we felt like for them we have to get into the festive spirit and actually decorate this year to kick off the landmas videos everybody we're gonna decorate together and let's see if we can turn my little scrooge heart into a happy and jolly one so um I have bought a tree. I don't, I don't think I've ever put up a tree. The only tree that I've really had in the last few years has been my little toilet plunger tree and if you've been around here before you'll understand why and know the story to this, but this lovely little plunger tree has been my only uh, real source of festiveness in the house. So this year we're gonna spruce it up, guys. Let's do it. I'd like to just make a comment. One of the reasons why I've never actually decorated or felt the need to decorate is that I hadn't previously like been in a settled place. I've moved around almost every year of my adult life and I could also just not quite comprehend how expensive Christmas decorations are in general. And I couldn't wrap my head around the fact that people spend so much money like going fully ham on decor for it to just sit and collect dust in, in a box for the other 11 months of the year, you know? So if I was going to buy decorations, ideally I'd have them for a very, very, very long time. And I wanted it to be something that I could use every year. So when I was creeping the trees, first of all, holy, moly <laughs> they are so expensive i couldn't believe it even costco i was like damn death expensive uh but i did rather fall in love with this lovely little frosted tipped pre-lit tree from home depot i thought it was beautiful so fingers crossed that we can get it to light <laughs> oh my god <laughs> this must be the top oh, oh, eh, eh, and this must be the bottom I did add a little sprinkle of cinnamon to my coffee to get us into the festive spirit, though. <laughs> Why is it so flimsy? Oh! Great! It literally just folds down. This is amazing. I thought I'd be having to unfurl all the branches the whole time. It literally just... It just folds down. What? It kind of looks like a Grinch tree right now. But isn't it beautiful already? Oh my god, oh my god. Wow, it's actually, I'm kind of feeling excited already. <laughs> True test. Let's see if she lights up. Wee! <laughs> it's so beautiful. Well, ladies and gentle jets, we have a tree. <laughs> Basically, I wanted to get the frosted tipped one because it kind of just reminds me of like a fresh snow, and I love that that look so i just thought it would make me feel all of the wintry loving feelings every morning when i walk down the stairs <gasps> oh my god it's perfect it's a tree <laughs> all right so now that we've got a lit tree don't mind it's slightly it's slightly tilted a little bit on one side but we'll we'll figure it out we got a month to uh finesse if you will now let's talk 
decorations to go on the tree. So I've had a few decorations over the years, a few cutie little things, and we made a couple of pit stops the other day when we were downtown. We already did a little bit of shopping and I didn't wanna go overboard. So I figured that we could do this initial decorating together. And then if we needed to add more, we can decide then, but I wanted to just grab a few things so that I could hopefully do it all in one go and then only add to it if I needed. I didn't wanna go buy like a million ornaments and pieces of decor for the tree uh, when I do want it to be like quite simple and minimal and light and fluttery. So that's the vibe we're going for. Here's what we've got. So here on the table, I've laid out all of the holiday related things that we have. We have me and Dan's Santa hats, which you guys remember, our little engagement Christmas family photo that we posted. These were our hats and this is Mero's little hat. So we've pulled those out again. And then speaking of said photo, my mom got us a cute little Christmas ornament and it's our first Christmas engaged, Alana and Dan, 2020. And she put the photo on the ornament. How cute is that? So last year we had like hung this on our fake olive tree and we called it a day. So this is definitely gonna go on the tree. I have a cutie little A bear from my mom. She gave it to me and all my sisters. All of our names start with A. Then Dan's mom also got us these cutie little porcelain houses because she said it reminded her of our house, which is so sweet. So those are definitely going on the tree. And I also have a few little, like I know this is so random, but when Dior sends their holiday packages and whatnot, they always include a little gold star ornament and I think that's so cute. So I actually saved them for the occasion. These are my little Dior stars. How cute, but they're so pretty. So I figured I'd hang them on the tree too because they're so nice and they go with the vibe. So then I also picked up some H&M home ornaments. We got these in like a nice ivory and then some different shades of green. There's like gold sparkles on them. They had these really nice ones at H&M home as well. And they were on sale. For $7.99 for each of the bundles. So we got a few of those to decorate with. And then we went to CB2. Definitely a little bit more spendy, but they were actually having a really nice like Black Friday, Cyber Week, pre-holiday, whatever, like 40% off on their decor items. So I don't know if it was stuff from last year or what, but got a few things. Also got the star from CB2. So this is what we're working with. Let's put it on the tree and see how it looks. So these are the ornaments that we got from CB2. These lovely little like amber tinted ones, these cute little gold swirly clear ones, and then some of the stars to match the top. Very plain, very simple. Love the vibe. It's straight. <laughs> okay, any tips on how to straighten one's um, star and tree? We will accept. So we're gonna leave her for now. Looking beautiful, we have completely lost the daylight. So we're getting the full glow from the tree right now. But I didn't consider the fact that we desperately need a little tree skirt under here to hide the legs. So that's gonna be next. I actually don't think we need any more. I think it's perfectly filled stunningly minimal if you will uh but yeah we need to get a little a little skirt or something for underneath and then i think that'll be divine so we're gonna pause decorating for now and i'll be back with you when we go hunt for a little tree skirt <laughs> hello i'm joining you in the future with tree skirts so that we may finish decorating the tree <laughs> so we ended up finding two options at the bay and Meryl has ended up making the tree skirts her home. <laughs> what are you doing on those? So depending on which one we choose, I will have a serious lint rolling moment, but I need your guys' help. We need to decide if we're gonna do the, the little crochet cream number or the green number. I also find it hysterical that you need clothing for your tree. The fact that we even had to consider like buying a skirt for our tree it's hilarious to me, but I do get it. I do understand the desire to cover the little legs. So here's the first option we got. This little guy, this little crochet number here, which is a little bit 
not to our taste, but I mean, it's a tree skirt, so like, I don't know how one has much taste and choice for that. Uh, the second one is the one that Meryl decided to create her home. So obviously Meryl has chosen this one, but this is a little green velvet tied number, which honestly, I think because we have so much green in our tree that this might actually be the preferred option as well. So let's don the skirt. <laughs> is that how it's supposed to look? Yeah, to be honest, I don't even think I'm gonna put the crochet one on because I think it's just gonna be too much opposing cream with the rug and whatnot. And the green actually just makes it a piece in its own. Ta -da. If you have any tree skirting advice, I'm open to accepting that in the comments below. <laughs> so a few other little updates we did. First of all, we moved our little fake olive tree to the, the back corner here in the dining room. And we bought this little string of gold leaf lights from Ikea so that this tree can too feel festive. Whoa! I mean, this is where we're gonna be sitting and eating our little holiday dinners, so it makes sense to bring some light into here, right? And then I very prematurely set the dining room table because I wanted to see what I could add for this and have an idea of what it's gonna look like on Christmas day when we're hosting our families for dinner. So here's what I've done so far. We might need to add a few more little baubles and bits. My mom said to add some string lights onto here, but I'll show you what I've done so far. Isn't it cute? This is our little festive table. The placemats and all the plates are from Ikea. These are from Soho Home. These napkins and the little napkin holders are from H&M Home. We got the garland from CB2. And then these candle holders were actually a Christmas gift from my parents to us last year, which are beautiful. And we need to get some fresh candles in there. So what I like about this garland, what would you call this? This leafy greenery <laughs> for the table is that we can use it all year round but like decorate it per season so maybe i'll add a few little christmas inspired bubbles or to my mom's request some little sparkly twinkle lights and that would be cute right and then i didn't even realize like obviously this is my continued life obsession with green but the fact that i have green napkins as well just literally ties in all of the green on the tree, the tree skirt, napkins, table. Yeah, it's all green. Green is the color of, of the holidays for us this year and uh, for all years following apparently. So that's what I've done thus far to set up the dining room to make it feel a little bit more festive. And Dan and I realized that we like really don't sit and eat at the table all that much because we haven't really moved any of this out of the way. It's just been sitting here so that's totally fine. Maybe it'll just live like this for all of December and it'll just make us feel extra festive and joyful until the day is officially here. So there's a little update, guys. I know I didn't even put this other tree skirt on, but let me know if you agree with my decision because I feel like this is just a little bit too like, I don't know what I feel about it, honestly, but we're gonna return it if you all approve of the green velvet tree skirt. So please do let me know what you think of our tree in the decor in the comments below and if there's anything that we should add. Oh shoot, we're probably gonna have to do something for the stockings, aren't we? Listen, we got a tree <laughs> and I'm happy with that. So for the moment that we've all been waiting for, let's talk about the giveaways. If you're new here and you didn't know, during Landmas, we do the 12 days of Landmas giveaways. So there's gonna be 24 videos in December and then throughout those videos sprinkled in will be 12 days of Landmas giveaways. And for the most part, we stick with a similar theme every year. I kind of just love to give away a giant box of all of my favorite things. And then we toss in a couple of extra special giveaways. So we're following the same format this year. There's gonna be 10 boxes of my favorite things and those will be you know, 10 of the 12 Landmas giveaways. <laughs> and outside of the boxes, there will be two other giveaways to be shown later. So I wanted to take you through what's in the Landmas giveaways this year. And as far as entering, guys, we're gonna try and keep it super simple. We did the same thing during Everyday May giveaways where we're just going to have a link to a form to fill out. So I can't express this and emphasize this enough. I will not comment to you telling you that you've won a giveaway. If you get a message, it is a spam or a robot comment, if that's commenting on YouTube. If it says Telegram, if it says, follow me, message me on WhatsApp, blah, blah, it's not me. I am going to be emailing you from my one and only email or messaging you from my verified blue tick Instagram account, 
nothing else. So please, I don't, I don't want to get messages of people being like, Hey, I won your giveaway. Saw your comment on YouTube. I won your giveaway, blah, blah, blah. I messaged you on Telegram and it's asking me, I'm never going to ask you to spend money <laughs> to win the giveaway. So please ignore these. I, I must emphasize that so, so much because it happens every single time. The bots are insane and they have been for a long time now. So please ignore. It's not me and feel free to report them if you wanna help us crack down on the bots. But anyway, so you're gonna be entering through a form. There's gonna be various ways for you to get additional entries through this form, but don't be alarmed. If you are entering and you only have YouTube and that's the only way you're entering, that is so fine. Your entry counts, don't worry. So if you don't have Instagram, if you don't have TikTok, all that good stuff, don't worry about it. Your entry still counts. This is also open to everybody. Absolutely, wherever you are in the world, you can enter the giveaway. There's no problem with that. Um, sometimes I might just have to message you and clarify some shipping addresses because sometimes they can be a little bit tricky, but everybody can enter and please only enter once. Any additional entries, if you try to enter multiple times, the additional entries will just be deleted. So we're only accepting one per person. And if you're that person who's going and making a ton of different accounts and entering multiple times, um, then that's rude. It's not nice. We all like to play fair and have love here. So anyway, let me take you through what is in this year's Landmas giveaways. And I wanted to start with the brands who very, very kindly participated in the giveaways and sent some products over for you guys to enjoy. So thank you so much to all these following brands. You guys are amazing. And thank you for supporting my channel and supporting the giveaways you guys are amazing and we really appreciate it. So first of all, Moroccan oil hair treatment. This was a discovery of mine from this year. Absolutely love it. That's going in the box, Moroccan oil. Thank you so much for sending this over. JVN Hair has sent over the Complete Bloat Styling Milk, which is a new favorite of mine and a new favorite of Dan's too. We literally have two bottles of these going on in our bathroom. It's absolutely fabulous. And if you love that blowout look, I've been such a fan of it and it's been ruling my world. This has been such a huge favorite. JVN, thank you so much for sending this over. Josie Marin, Oh my God, sent over their Argan Whipped Body Butter, which is so fabulous. This is such a stunning, bougie little product and so beautiful and succulent on the skin. For those of you who live in a winter climate, you're gonna absolutely love this and eat this up. Josie Marin, thank you so much for sending this. One's going in every box. The Benefit team absolutely spoiled us, you guys. They sent over so many beautiful products and so many favorites of mine. And I am so grateful to them because they did not need to go this hard. <laughs> but I so appreciate it. And they sent over all of these favorites from Benefit, you guys. We've got the Butterfly Blush, which we discovered this year. This was a new launch, such a beautiful, obviously orange, gorgeous product from Benefit the Porefessional Setting Spray, which I bathe my skin in every single time I do my makeup. It's my favorite setting spray. It's gorgeous. If you haven't tried it yet, you're going to love it. The Bad Gal Bang Mascara. We've got the 24 hour brow setter. This is the clear brow gel from Benefit. Such a classic. And then the Extra Brown Their Real Precision Liner, which is one of my favorite uh, brown liner discoveries that we've had. And all of these are going in every single one of these giveaway boxes. Benefit, you are so amazing. Thank you so much for sending this. And also to my Caudalie fam. Oh my gosh, you guys, they hooked it up with the favorites. Truly such a gorgeous lineup from Caudalie. My favorites, the makeup removing cleansing oil. I go through bottles and bottles and bottles of these. It's an absolute must in my skincare routine. And I also can't wait for them to bring back the travel size. So excited for that. But you guys, this is my must have in my skincare routine. It's so incredible, Caudalie. Thank you so much. They also sent the instant detox mask, which is such a favorite of mine. And these are all full size, might I add. Massive, huge. These are literally just musts in the skincare routine and also the classic beauty elixir spray. Caudalie thank you you are so sweet thank you so much for sending these all of these are gonna go in the giveaways as well refer my beloved refer sent over their core brush set which is absolutely huge you get five brushes in the core brush set all being some of my favorites we've got the number five which is the brush that I use for my bronzer the number four brush which I use for my blush and then we have three eyeshadow brushes here we've got the nice fluffy blending brush the shader brush and the little pinpoint brush as well and if you haven't tried the refer brushes they are just positively stunning. They're a Canadian company and I am so grateful to them for being so supportive for so long and I love them and they're some of my favorite brushes that I've ever tried and they have a forever and permanent place in my everyday makeup bag. These are so great and I'm so excited for you guys to get your hands on them if you haven't tried them either. And last but certainly not least, T3, thank you so much for supporting the giveaways. I have used this curling iron for so many years and they sent over 
They're stunning. Curling iron for you guys to have. Every single one of the giveaways is going to get the T3 curling iron. And this is honestly, it's such a beautiful product. And I can't thank you guys at T3 enough. Thank you so much for sending these over. One of these curling irons is going in every giveaway box. So thank you so much to all those brands for contributing to the Landmas giveaways. I love you and can't thank you enough. Let me show you the rest of the things that we picked up and that are going in every single giveaway box this year. I'm gonna try and be speedy through it because there's a lot to go through. <laughs> Face halos, another must in my skincare routine. I always love to include a little baggie of these because I use them every single day. Then I wanted to include an extra little special treat and one of my favorite skincare discoveries from this year, the Dior Le Mousse. Oh, thank God for the Sephora sale, let me tell you, but you guys, I just, can I open this without ruining it? This cleanser was such a great discovery of mine this year. And look at the packaging, it's just so special. And I wanted to include it in the giveaways because I just wanted to treat you guys and make you feel as special as I did every day when I was using this in my skincare routine. It's just a really beautiful product and a beautiful experience and it's Dior. And it's going in every single one of the Landmas giveaways. Another favorite discovery, I had to include the Inky List Retinol because even though I'm not a dermatologist and technically I shouldn't be shoving um, specific skincare products on your face, I just feel like if it's gentle enough for me with very sensitive skin to use, then it could be good for most people. So, um, oh, and it literally says formulated for all. Look at that. Inky List Retinol, had to include, loving it so much. Then I also included the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask, which is a favorite. Weirdly enough, I couldn't find the chocolate anywhere, so I got the vanilla, which is obviously an equally delicious scent, but love this lip mask so much. Perfect for winter. Obviously, I had to include another round of my Nude Sticks collaboration. This is my blush and picante that I made in collaboration with Nude Sticks, and I also included the Beachy Nudes kit, which has three of my faves from Nude Sticks, which is picante, Bondi Bay Bronzer, and the Bubbly Bay a highlight. So these are going in every box as well. Love you nude sticks forever. I simply had to include some of my favorite blushes. I just realized there's actually a lot of blush in here. Um, but the Laura Mercier Provence tinted moisturizer. What's it? What's the tinted moisturizer blush? Yes. The shade Provence. Such a favorite from this year, as well as the All That Sparkles Powder Blush. You guys, it's so pretty. It's so pretty, and I want you guys to try this combo too, so had to include those. When I, you know when I say I like go ham during the Sephora sale? Like, we go ham and absolutely use that 20% off, let me tell you. Okay, then another little sweet Dior product. Had to include the Dior Backstage Blush. I've actually wanted to include this in previous years, but it was always sold out, so I was so happy that it was in stock this year. This is in the shade pink. Such a gorgeous blush if you haven't tried it. That's going in there as well. Um, also, the Charlotte Tilbury Color of Passion Pillow Talk Lip and Cheek Glow. Such a favorite, especially in the fall and winter. A gorgeous lip and cheek product. You guys are gonna love this color if you haven't tried it. Then for some lips, I included the Kosas Jellyfish Wet Plumping Treatment Gloss. I love this lip gloss and I thought it would be nice to just give you guys like a clear gloss option so that everybody could use it. Sometimes it's a little bit tough with the lip colors and whatnot and cheek colors, I suppose, but everybody can use a clear gloss and this is one of my favorites. So I picked up a Kosas gloss and then I know that this might be like skin tone shade specific, but simply because it was such a fun discovery, I wanted to include the Makeup Forever Endless Cacao Artist Pencil. So one of those is going in all of them as well. Then for mascara, a beautiful new product that we discovered this year was the Tower 28 Make Waves Mascara. So had to pick this up for it. And then this is one thing that I, I really wanted to buy for myself, <laughs> but I just simply can't justify having this in my makeup collection when I have so many blushes and, and limited collection things just like don't really work for me when it comes to YouTube and reviewing and whatnot. So I figured it would be a great product to actually spoil you guys with and I wanted to get everyone the Patrick Ta blush palette because when it first came out, I was like, oh, am I gonna buy it, am I gonna buy it? No, I can't, it's limited edition allegedly, but also like blush palettes just don't get enough use from me, but I want them and I love them when I see them. And I just think that having the option of three cream blushes and three powder blushes is so fabulous. And you guys, I hope that you will absolutely love it and get use out of it because it's such a gorgeous sleek palette. Oh my God, I was so excited um, and so happy that they were in stock during the Sephora sale. So everyone is getting one of the Patrick Ta blush palettes. Yeah, there's a lot of blush in here. So every year I love to include an eyeshadow palette and it's always kind of tough for me to decide which one's gonna go in because I have a lot of like consistent neutral palette favorites. But I think my, my top discovery from this year, you guys will absolutely be seeing this in my 2022 beauty favorites 
is the Hindash View Topsy palette. I just think this is such a unique, cool um, experience of a palette and you can use it on the face as well. And even though the colors are all kind of gradient and mixed together, you actually end up getting so many shades in here. It's so versatile. And I think it's such a beautiful neutral palette that anybody can use. And this is the palette I decided to include in this year's Landmas giveaways. And the final product is just a special little sweet treat. Um, Dan and I, fun fact, our favorite scent to have in the home is the Diptyque Faux de Bois. I don't know if I've ever mentioned that, but we have the giant, the giant big boy candle and it lives and that's our favorite scent. They don't have it in a room spray and I don't understand why. I would just love to have that diffuser, a room spray, whatever. Everything we love is the Diptyque Faux de Bois. So we decided to include a little Faux de Bois candle in all of the giveaways just for a special little warm, scent and this also makes up for the fact that i'm not allowed to include perfume i can't include fragrance just for shipping restrictions it's very bizarre i don't know if we need like a special permit for that or something but in lieu of not being able to include a fragrance i figured i could at least include my favorite scent in a candle so everyone's gonna get a faux de bois and this is a very special special treat and i love this scent and so does dan and that is the final item in the Landmas giveaway boxes. There will be 10 of these boxes. All of these products will be in every single one of the 10 of the Landmas giveaways. And you will have 10 opportunities to win this giant box of all of my favorite products. So I hope you guys are so excited. Um, again, thank you so much to all of the brands who contributed to the Landmas giveaways this year. We so, so, so appreciate it. And obviously there will be two other special giveaways throughout the Landmas duration duration of the Landmas month, but those are all of the things that are in the Landmas giveaway boxes. I hope you guys are excited. So today is obviously gonna be the first chance to win everything that's in this box. So check the description box down below. There's gonna be a link to the form that you can fill out for your entry. And just to keep it nice and simple and quick and breezy, we always choose a giveaway winner from the first 24 hours. So you have 24 hours once the video goes live to enter the giveaways. And again, they're gonna be sporadically put through the 24 videos. And so make sure that you have the notifications turned on, make sure you're subscribed and that you are checking in every day when we upload a new Landmas video to see if there's a giveaway. And then you have 24 hours once the video goes live to enter that. So you guys, that's my blab. Those are all the products in the giveaways. I hope you guys are so excited. I love you so much. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for decorating with me. Thank you for hanging out with me. And I hope you guys are really excited for the month of videos to come. Happy Landmas to you. And I will see you all tomorrow for a new Landmas video. Bye.